Not something I thought I'd say on April 29th, the word frost. And a, uh, what is it, a warning? That's an advisory. Right. It just means that, you know, if you've already gotten some plants in oh. your pots outside, try to start maybe those gardens a little early. You want to cover them up or take some precautions. It's actually not that unusual for us to still see really? some frost in late April. Yeah, we've got a couple of nights this week where the temperatures no. will be down into the lower 40s and ah, upper 30s. Don't want it. Spot. <laughs> Sorry, we're at 40 degrees right now in Providence and New Bedford. 30s in Smithfield, 32 degrees in Tom and in Boston right now, a little warmer around the city center at 46. Westerly also down to 38. And check out some of the other temperatures right now. I mentioned Japachet sitting just above freezing. Taunton's at the freezing mark now. Richmond and Narragansett have both fallen into the 30s. The active weather pattern continues for us, but we are dry today. And in fact, most of the daylight hours today, tomorrow and Wednesday are dry, but we have showers that'll be passing through overnight tonight, expecting less than a quarter of an inch of rain and the temperatures overall are going to be cooler than normal. Most of this week, we may start to see a rebound by the upcoming weekend. Our live camera hurricane barrier here looking at the highway and your roadways are going to be dry after yesterday's showers. Live Doppler radar is quiet in Rhode Island, southeastern Massachusetts and Connecticut, so expect dry skies and sunshine wherever you're headed. Sunrise 545 this morning by the afternoon. Our high temperatures will be up into the upper 50s to lower 60s. It will cool down a little bit late in the day right along the shoreline as the sea breeze kicks in. But prior to that, places like Narragansett and Westerly should be back up into the upper 50s. And I expect us to briefly hit around 60 in East Providence, Johnston, West Warwick and Bristol. And we'll be close to 60 degrees in Seekonk and Attleboro with temperatures cooling a little bit as the afternoon goes on in Westport and Dartmouth as the winds take that turn to the uh, onshore direction out of the southwest. High pressure in control for today. Next round of rain passing over the Midwest right now. Those areas of low pressure will move eastward and that will deliver some rain showers for us during the nighttime hours tonight. So let's time things out for you. We're going to kick off the day with sunny skies and we'll hold on to the sunshine into the mid and late afternoon. This is at three o'clock by the evening hours. The clouds are on their way in. This is six o'clock in the evening. No trouble getting in after school sports, though. Those will be fine. Dry skies again as late as midnight and then rain showers later in the night. Now it starts off a little damp on Tuesday morning. Most of the showers should be over with by the end of the morning commute, though. We do hang on to the mostly cloudy skies and it'll be a chilly day on Tuesday for this evening. If you are planning on being out and about and at those ball fields, I'll be there. Our temperatures will be cool. We'll start off around 55 degrees at six o'clock and then dropping into the upper 40s late tonight with the rain showers around. I expect us to be in the lower to mid 40s. It'll be cloudy and cool with south winds at about five to ten miles per hour. As we take a look at our precipitation chance, and this should say for Tuesday, we are seeing them highest in the morning and then dropping pretty quickly as the day goes on. So I do not expect Tuesday to be a washout, but I do expect it to be a mostly cloudy and cool day with temperatures only making it up to the middle 50s. We'll be dry Tuesday evening and Tuesday night and Wednesday daytime, as I mentioned, is dry Wednesday night into Thursday. More showers rain again on Friday and then we're cautiously optimistic about the weekend. It is going to be dependent on the timing of a front on Friday. As long as that can move offshore by Saturday, that day looks dry. Highs in the middle 60s and Sunday may be able to squeeze in another dry day too in the middle 60s. Both days looking seasonable. Your full